Hi, welcome for our uh, RTL online trainings and placements. In this session, I'm going to show you what are different types of invoices uh, we have. Generally, when we are working with our uh, vision applications in the cloud environment, once we have the access to the account payables roles, that means uh, AP roles as well as the data access, once we have, then uh, we will be able to access the invoice page and uh, create the invoices. While creating invoice, we will see the different types of invoices like standard invoice, credit memo, debit memo, uh, withholding tax invoices, interest invoices, like that, right? So same way, we will find uh, some other invoices also, invoice types. It's one of the important question in the entries they'll be asking us. So let me just take one user account, which is uh, having the access to account payables uh, environment here. Let me go for reset the password here. Go to Navigator, and I can find the payables menu here. Go for invoices. So users can just log in to the applications and go to the functional area, account payables invoices, and go to task list here, and try to create invoices here. Recurring invoices can be created. Uh, when we are working with uh, invoice type supplier, we will find withholding tax invoices, and we will also find uh, interest invoices in case if the invoice due date is over, okay? So here we can find different types, standard invoice, prepayment invoice, credit memo, debit memo, retaining release, and withholding tax invoice, then interest invoice. Other than this, there are some more invoice types. That's what we are talking about here, the total number of invoices, okay? When we go for uh, here invoice types, standard invoice, we know that, it is uh, basically used for standard uh, purchase options. And then we have your uh, prepayment invoice. When advance is required for the supplier, then we will go for prepayment invoice creation. And after that, we'll go for apply on the standard invoice. Then we'll find credit memo and doc debit memo. Credit memo is a document from supplier. Debit memo is a document from supplier that doesn't send you a credit memo document. Okay, so both uh, invoice types will be negative amount, which will be used to decrease the supplier liability. Withholding tax is automatically generated invoice when the tax authority for withholding tax. Okay, interest invoice also is automatically created when the invoice due date is over. And if your supplier side is enabled as interest invoices, then we can find that. Standard invoice request. This, an invoice without a purchase order that's submitted through Oracle Fusion supplier portal and that's pending approval from the requester. Okay, so uh, if the invoice is created from the supplier portal, let's say supplier has supplied the goods or service to our company, and after that he has also he, he can also raise the invoice from our application itself. There is a small module called supplier portal. While creating supplier contact, uh, we can create a user account and go for add the supplier portal roles so that users can log in and go for raise the invoices, supplier users, okay? So that 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 time, if the approval is pending from the requester, that time you will see the invoice type as standard invoice uh, request. After that approval, then it will become a standard invoice here. And credit memo invoice request also is from supplier portal and pending, pending approval from the supplier requester. So standard invoice requester, request and credit memo invoice request. Both are uh, similar to the standard invoice and credit memo. So once it is approved here, then it will become yes. There is another invoice type called payment request. This payment request is uh, an, uh, basically an invoice. Uh, you will see that uh, from expense module. We know that uh, 
in fusion financials we have another module called expenses module where employees can claim the expenses as per their expense template option whatever we have so when the employee claim the expenses that will become as an expense invoice here and also in fusion receivables module uh, whenever you wanted to go for a refund funds to uh, to the customer that is not defined in a supplier an application then we call it as a payment request so that time it's we can simply call it as a customer refund we can call it as a customer a refund option we can find so that time the payment request that's the invoice type you will find so in account receivables module after creating the transaction customer transaction means customer invoice once it is a complete status then we'll try to collect the amount from the customer let's say we have collected more amount now customer is asking refund that additional amount whatever we have received are collected so when you want to go for a refund that amount again you have to make that payment through account payables now in this scenario customer will become as supplier customer will become as a supplier because you are paying the money so that time the invoice type will be payment request make sure that for your business units account payables is uh, configured then a system will allow automatically configuration of this customer refund so these are the different types of invoices uh, uh, you will find uh, in account payables module uh, finally okay so uh, let's subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates about the cloud and all this thank you